Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be seeing if Overlord Utah can solo a tier 5 portal. But before we get into this video, I want to thank you guys so much for 40k subs. We just hit that. I really do appreciate it. Maybe we'll get our code unit soon. But if you look at our inventory, we actually have Overlord Utah. We already maxed out his skill tree, 25,000 kills. We're going to go ahead and look at his skill tree. Alright, so as you can see, you can look at mine. This is mainly for an SPA damage build. So I went SPA over damage. I do that for all my characters though. So this one's minus 10 SPA instead of like the plus 10 range or whatever this gives. Yeah, this one is a lot better, especially for Utah because he's a really bad SPA. So if you guys are wondering how a 3000 placement unit is going to solo this, I'm going to use a unit off spawn, but I'm going to use someone really cheap. So it's not really like playing against it. So I'm going to bring Minato. He only costs 300 to place. So he's going to be our starter. We're going to make sure you go in a portal that does not have airs so we don't have to die. So we're going to bring those. We're going to bring, we're going to bring best waifu we're gonna bring speed car and just to be safe because i don't know if portals like just do not have airs i'm going to bring genos just in case oh two rerolls right there w go over to portals i want to see what we have so we have desert village one we could low-key just do this this is the easiest portal you can possibly do i can just say oh i'm gonna do a desert one okay we're gonna have to go with this one no hit act two water park so it is going to be act two so it should have zero airs it is still a tier five portal though but it's not going to be that much of a difficult one because i don't have a plan dynamic act two or something like that all right guys so we're gonna place it on our farm let's turn on our sound my mouse did not charge whatsoever overnight. Let's go. It just died. That's all I did. You know, effects. There we go. So these things start off with 3,000 HP. It's nothing too strong. We're, we're going to go ahead and place down our Minato now. He starts with 7,300 damage almost. So we can go ahead and farm the next few waves now that we have him down. Like my Minato is no longer one tapping. We would upgrade him, but his upgrades do just about no damage, so that's not even going to happen. I can easily spend 1k, but I only get a thousand damage increase. It's looking not worth it. Okay, we can already place down our Utah. So we're gonna place him down right here. He's going to miss those guys though. Can we hit him though? Okay, they're dead. There we go. Now we're gonna sell that guy, and our Utah can go ahead and solo this. So he's doing 80,000. What? Wait, did they buff him? What did they buff Utah? He was doing 48k on placement. Oh, is, is it because of his tree? There's no way it's that good. Let me know the trees work with the tree. He does 80,000 damage on placement. I think that's a bug. I'm not going to lie. Because he does 48,000. That's what he was at when I had, like, I'm pretty sure max tree on him. This right here is Loki so easy. I don't even really have to upgrade him. How much HP do they have back here? They have 9k. Okay, even the tanky ones have 18k. Not even, actually. 17,000 is the highest, which is not that high. 80,000 damage every 3.53 seconds with an AoE like this? Oh my god. Utah is just so good for starting. It takes like five ways to place him, but he's still really good for starting. Alright, now that we're getting some really good income, we're getting 18k from him, 7k, and 2.5k. 
So we're getting like 20, 30k a wave. I think we can start upgrading our Yuta now. My boy's about to be doing so much damage, about to become so easy. I right, start upgrading him 80k to 119, 119 to 254, 254 to 419, 419 to 462, 462 to 492. But if we do upgrade it once again, it will have a, the electrify effect, but we'll lose all of our range. So I don't think I want to upgrade it for right now. This is already a really good placement for him. Alright, wave 15. We have 70k though. We can sell these. We can probably get 100k off all of this. Oh yeah, easily. 112k. Let's see what we can get him to. Maybe we can get him to his... Okay, yeah, there we go. That's the attack I wanted to get him to. 1.02 million damage every 30 seconds. This one is his... Yeah, this one's his cripple. I don't think there is a boss on this map too. If there is, it's probably going to get one tap. These things only have 60,000 HP. Oh, they have 16,000 actually. Let's see that one more time. Boom. Easy. That was actually a lot easier than I thought, but we're doing 1 million damage like this. They definitely have to buff him. There's no way they didn't. 1 million damage to upgrade 10? I don't know. Maybe it is because of the tree. I don't. I didn't know it was that good. It's 48k without the 65% upgrade, and now it's doing 80k with it. Alright guys, so that portal seemed a little bit too weak, so we're going to go ahead and try out a new one. We got a new tier 5 portal. We got Act 1. Now, we want to go do a higher one. So, I didn't really show you guys my last ones. I couldn't really find any of those, like, Act 3 and below. Oh. Act 2, I would have mentioned, I didn't even see that. So I'll keep that one in mind. Act 3, Planet Dynamic. That one's a little bit too difficult because it's an Act 3. Did not mean to do that. Okay, yeah, we'll just do this one right here. Hollow Dimension, Immunity, Act 2. This one is a whole world above, so maybe it'll be a little bit harder to do. But this time, I actually remembered to put in my Minato skill tree. So now we have a maxed out skill tree Minato right there. All right, so like usual, we can go down, place on a farm. I like how cheap Minato is because you can place on a farm instantly. We already have enough money, chilling with the farm down. And we can wait to next wave to place on Minato. And there's still a good placement for him. These things have 4,000 off placement. I think the last area had 3,000. So like perfect placement like that and he's a decent size a way to take out just about all those guys I think. Now we have all farms placed down. Let's go ahead and turn on our sound. I almost forgot. Alright, so these things are already really tanky. 22,000 HP. We can already almost place Yuta, I think, after this wave. Yeah, right here. Boom. Yuta down. And there we go. We can replace Minato to take care of this. Never mind. We don't need Yuta. Or Minato. We do need Yuta. Or 80,000 damage on placement, so he's instantly going to carry the entire run already. He could probably already solo it without being leveled up, to be honest, because a 3 second SPA doing 80k damage. But this map right here does have a boss, so maybe it'll be a little bit more difficult than last time.
All right, there we go. We have got our farms to a very good upgrade. We got this one to eight, six, and four. Okay, yeah, some decent upgrades. I think we can start upgrading our Yuta now. Probably gonna get him to Rika's upgrade like we did last time for the extra range buff. So like, we're already not one tapping these guys. And yeah, those are the tank ones though. So they normally have the sprinters have 16k, barely anything. Wow. Okay, let's get him to. Damn, I'll just spam upgrade him. 462k to 492. And yeah, that's just about it. That's the max upgrade we're gonna get it to, unless we can get enough money to get the microphone, which is like 80 to 100k, I think. So it's really expensive. All right, so it's wave 15. He's doing 492k. He's doing a decent amount. We can go ahead and sell our farms now. Maybe we can get up to 100. Damn, 118k. Just like the same amount as last time, I think. And let's go with the max upgrade. There we go. 30 range, 1.02 million damage. And he's also doing cripple damage. All right, he's doing the cripple. So the boss only has 2 million HP. That's barely anything. So with cripple, this will make it a lot faster too. 1.42 million. Easily solos. So if you get overward, oh look at that, we have that double portal too. But if you get overward on this man, then it's already over. So you have overward on him and then avatar on Sukuna. I think you're just about like finished. That's all you really need in this game and then it's done. So with both portals, we're not going to go up to Namek because one, we have a portal patch three. Or we have portals that are three and above, which all have ears. So I can't exactly do those. But yeah, I mean, he's doing pretty good out there. But yeah guys, it's going to be for this video though. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Peace out.